let's talk about the on-running cloud flyer. Okay, so before we talk about what I like about this shoe, let's go through some specs. So they have a seven millimeter drop. They weigh 280 grams. They are true to size and they cost 140 pounds. They come in four different colors for men and four different colors for women. They have the plushest tongue in the on running range. They have some of the largest clouds in the on-running range. They have an ultralight engineered mesh upper. They have the new star lacing pattern. It also has a midfoot stability tube which combines support with a foot hugging feel. And it has a 3D molded heel which is slightly wider to improve stability. Finally, it has a Helion and CloudTech combination which gives lightweight agility and heavy impact protection. So let's jump into some likes and dislikes. So the first thing I like about these shoes is the tread. The tread is really good. I pretty much with every on running shoe that I've ever had, I haven't really had any problems with the tread. Um, you can see here on this one that there's actually like, it's a little bit worn back here on the heel. Um, and that is probably due to my bad running form. But overall, these are great run up some, like we've just come out of basically a month of rain every day, pretty much here. Um, so these in the wet have been pretty good, really. Like haven't really had any problems. Drain covers, fine. Leaves, fine. Yeah, the tread sticks really well, even up or down a really steep hill. Uh, I feel really comfortable in these. Um, just I'm not, I'm not too worried about where I'm putting my feet and worried that they're going to slip. Um, yeah, the, the tread just holds up super well on these. The next thing is these large clouds. I, I really like the cloud tech on this. It, I think this is probably the shoe where the cloud tech shines the most because they're so large. You really get that sort of compression and soft landing and then a really good base to propel off of. Uh, I really like that. For me, putting speed work in in these shoes is amazing because you can really, really, really put the speed in. And if your technique goes off a little bit and you're landing a little bit heavy footed, this just completely soaks all that up and it's really comfortable and you've still got a really good base to spring off of, to spring off of. Yeah, just super comfy. Um, love yeah love the cloud tech on these and the, yeah the larger pods are just really really nice underfoot another thing is this star lacing pattern this is wicked so this hugs your midfoot really well but also allows your toes a lot more space it feels i don't know it, it feels like it's quite high but i, I like that because it, it makes the toe box a little bit more roomy and then it also, you just, along with this like super plush tongue, it really hugs your midfoot well. Um, and the, yeah, the shoe is just like, it's like stuck to your foot like glue. It's, it's brilliant. Um, it moves really well with your foot. You're really secure in it. But because this lacing, because of this pattern that kind of pulls the upper in here at the bottom of your midfoot, it allows your toes to display. It's just a really nice, it makes the shoe really comfortable. Uh, I really like this to run in. It's it's a super comfy shoe. Next is Airflow. These have got loads of Airflow. Um, I ran in these yesterday and it was the hottest day of the year. Um, not that that says much because I live in Wales, but um, yeah, it's, uh, they're, they're really good. I don't overheat too much in these. Over the winter, I've been wearing some thicker socks in these uh, and even on a, a sort of like a faster paced run, um, I don't really overheat too much. Uh, yeah, really good. I haven't tested them in the summer yet, so I can't vouch them for the summer, but I know from other on running shoes that I've worn over the summer that they have been really good for airflow. Um, and this has got a fair amount of it. So yeah, really good. And then my final like for these shoes is the stability of them. Because it's all just a little bit wider and you've got these big clouds, they're a really stable shoe. Super, you're super locked in. The heel counter that's molded locks your heel in so well. It's really plush around the back here, so it's super comfortable. It doesn't really rub up against your Achilles too much. You don't get too much like Achilles fatigue. Um, and your foot is just really well locked in. 
along with the star lacing locks your midfoot in really well and then you've also like i said with the toe box you've got that room it's just great yeah it, it really hugs your foot well and keeps you on a really stable base and i feel that in this i'm i'm really conscious of where i i land and how i land in this shoe but it's not it's not like i'm having to be conscious so that i run correct i just I often notice, and I think, oh yeah, that, that feels, it feels really positive when I land, um, and I just like the way, the way, <laughs> I like the way it feels when I land in these shoes, um, and, and I feel the stability, and, and I, it's often something I think about when I'm running in these shoes, I, I often think that, yeah, I do actually feel super stable and comfy in this shoe. Um, like, I've, I don't think I've ever, like, rolled an ankle in these shoes, not that I roll an ankle much, um, but, yeah, I would say that, it feels super stable and, and it's like it's a very comforting feeling when you're running in these. Okay, so let's jump on to a couple of dislikes. Um, so I did mention about how plush it is around here. Now, I like it on the heel back here. However, I feel that the tongue is maybe a little bit too, too much. Uh, and also just down the sides here. Um, there's a lot of airflow at the front, but I feel that this is just a little bit bulky um, and it, I think yeah they could probably cut some of it if they left the heel quite plush but maybe cut some out of the tongue um, I actually feel that you could maybe get a more slightly lightweight shoe uh, which would maybe be a little bit better but for me it's it's not a massive it's not a massive problem however I do I do look at this and think like in the middle of the summer is this going to get a little bit hot i mean i i think the airflow will be enough but I, for me i just rather just especially round here to the side just if they were a little bit more lightweight i think i would prefer it and then another dislike is the laces themselves i find this with most on running shoes they have these really thin laces now they bind really well and as I said, it's been raining loads here and they don't come undone in the rain. So that's great. But if they do ever come undone, if it's cold, they're just impossible to retie. <laughs> if your hands are freezing or if you've got gloves on, you're not retying these with gloves on, or at least I'm not. Um, I just It's just a bit annoying. I just wish they would have sort of like very slightly wider flat laces just so you could get a little bit more purchase on them. As I said, they do bind really well, so it's not very often that they come undone. Um, but yeah, these kind of really thin, sort of like rounded laces, I'm not the biggest fan of, but on running do seem to put them on all of their shoes. Finally, uh, you'll recognize this one if you've watched my Cloud Flyer review, which is uh, the Cloud Tech and getting stones stuck in it. Now, this one is, this middle patch here is quite bad for it and at the heel is quite bad for it um, because there there's quite big grooves here um, so I've got a gravel drive and a lot of stones can get stuck in here I mean they do come out sometimes you get one that really wedges it in there and you've just got to stop and flick it out and it's not the end of the world it's not like I'm getting them in there all of the time um, but I do get enough stones stuck in there to notice it uh, so yeah, so that is that is a shame, but I think the the quality of the cloud tech and how good it feels to run on massively outweighs that. So if the price for having such good cushioning and sort of stability from the cloud tech is getting a few stones stuck in it every now and then, I'm quite happy with that. Um, it's like if I weigh them up against each other, I'm like, yeah, actually, I kind of don't care about stones. I'm more than happy just to flick them out. Um, and it's not like it's not super often that you get one that gets really stuck in there and grinds along the floor for ages. Like quite often they do just stay in for like four or five steps and then they flick out. Um, but it's something something to know if you're like if you're not going to be getting these for trails. I don't think um, they're definitely a road running shoe. Um, and if you live in a very gravelly area, maybe it would be very annoying. Um, but I mean, generally, once I'm past my drive, I'm all right. So I use these shoes as my for my interval sessions and my tempo run. So anytime I want to push the pace, this is what I use. Any distance, really. So um, if I'm going for a 5K time trial, I'm going to go with these. Um, and then the only distance I don't use these for is uh, ultras, 
but that's because I use a different on running shoe. I use the Cloud Stratus for all of my ultras. 100% I will be buying these shoes again, uh, guaranteed. I've actually got another pair <laughs> sat um, in my cupboard just waiting to be used. Um, so basically when these have got like 700 miles on them, um, I'll probably move on to the second pair. Uh, the second pair literally have not been touched, they're just sat in the box um, waiting for me to run in them. But yeah, these these are wicked and I they fit so well on my training plan in the shoe rotation that I have. They work perfectly. Uh, yeah, I, I, I recommend these to anyone who wants a shoe that can basically, they can take up to marathon distance even beyond if you wanted. I mean, you could definitely run an ultra in these. The only reason I don't is because I have another shoe specifically for that. But if you wanted one pair of shoes that you could do all your speed work in and run any distance in, yeah, these are these are going to work perfectly for you. Um, the cushioning is enough, the stability is enough, uh, they load well, they're lightweight enough that you can push the speed, the airflow is great. Yeah, I think these are a really, really good all-round shoe. For me, they're definitely my speed day shoe. So there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about them. If you've tried them or want to try them, drop your comments below. Also, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if this is the type of content that you like. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews, hopefully this year, uh, putting them out sort of like one every other week. I think that would be a good schedule. And then I've also got the weekly training vlog, which is all about me training for a 100-mile ultramarathon towing a drum kit, which will be in South Wales from Cardiff to my home county of Pembrokeshire. Uh, it's going to be a bit mental and it's not far away because it's happening in July so that's a bit mad, a little bit terrified so if you want to follow along with that that'd be great and that whole ultramarathon is for the amazing charity which is Cardiac Risk and the Young so if you do want to follow along with that and maybe even donate some money that'd be absolutely amazing all links are in the description so thank you very much for watching guys and I shall see you in the next one Which, the what does it do? Which combines support with a gentle foot-hugging feel. That's what it does.